and welcome to an Irish woodworker's diary. I'm Phil Gaynor. So a couple of weeks ago I showed just how to fit a door frame which is this door frame here and I want to now show you how to make the architrave. So this is the architrave here. It's 125 millimeters wide and it's it's pretty basic to be honest with you. So I'm going to show you how we go about doing it. The first thing we do is we take a piece of MDF. This is 12 millimeter MDF, and we cut it 125 millimeters wide. Okay. The second thing we do is we will put a little bit of a mold on it, right? Which is there. You can see the you can see the way I I I, I routed a mold on the end of it. Then we'll take a standard piece of architrave, okay, and we will fix that to this. And then all of a sudden, you can now see we have the mould here, and we have the planted on architrave, okay. And then to that then, we'll take the third piece that we require, and that will go on the end there. And that's what gives us our profile for the architrave. So what I'll do is we go back up to the workshop now and we will start with cutting the MDF. So that's the first job. Let's get on with that. Set at 125 mil, so let's cut the MDF. Now we also need to rip the mold at 40 mm, so let's do that next. So now you can see we have the basic parts that are required for the architrave. So what we'll do now is we'll get on with route these next. Now guys, I'm going to route the um, MDF, but it's very important when using the MDF to wear dust mask. Um, on the table saw it's actually not too bad, but when you get in with the router, Make sure you have this on because it's a nasty material to be using. So I'm going to show you how I go about this. Okay? There you go guys, all of about a minute and a half to do that. Okay guys, uh, you can see what we're about to do now. We have 
the 125 millimeter MDF architrave there. And we're going to plant this one on it. Okay. So first thing we need to do is we need to get the, the select the right pins, and the right pins are 18 gauge, 20 millimeter pins to pin the architrave to the MDF. Before we do that, we want to glue it up. A oh, nice bit of wood glue. Fitting on the edge there. So we're going to take our Senko pin gun. Shoot that down. There. We have it, guys. We have the four star archive almost complete. Okay. Um, now, when you're nailing the archive, right, another thing to point out is always nail them between 10 and 12 inches apart, um, which will do for good nailing, you know. 12 inches max, but 10 inches pretty good to nail them apart, yeah. Well, you look at all the rest of that.
Now guys, I'm going to fake this, I know the camera's a, a, a long, long ways away, but I'm going to fake this bit of beard, so we have to place the beard up on top, like so. I'm going to mark the bibers. Now guys, how to fit the final bead to the frame. And there you go guys, that's how I made up the architrave for the frame, so I hope you got the broader picture on it. Um, so I started out with MDF, some very standard moulded architrave out of your builder suppliers and a piece of 12mm MDF by 35mm on the side to cover up the transition between the, the MDF and the raw timber. And that gives it its decorative, you know, feature. Anyway guys, that's it. Like I said, I hope it was of some use to you. Uh, maybe some of you guys out there might be renovating a house. And you, 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 can, you can bring this right down to 100 mil, 90 mil, if you're just looking for a wider area frame and it's a smaller house. You know, I'm lucky enough here, I've got 10 foot ceilings, so I, I was able to carry on with the 125 millimeters um, to make up the architrave. Cheers guys, from an Irish Woodworkers Diary, I'm Phil Gaynor.